My name is Suleshna Roy. I'm an associate professor of the Department of Pharmaceutical Sciences at the University of Tennessee Health Science Center. In the Roy Laboratory, we are essentially molecular architects. We basically study at a molecular level. We analyze these molecules for their properties, both chemical properties and biological properties. What we do is find applications as novel therapeutics in different disease areas. One of our research focus is in fluorine chemistry. Fluorine can do amazing things and it's such an untapped area because introducing fluorine at different parts of the molecule can change its chemical reactivity. It can do so many amazing things and improve drug properties. We are incredibly fortunate that this work has been funded by the NIGMS uh, through this grant mechanism called the MIRA Award. And we love this award because it gives us the flexibility to pursue new ideas. Science is a moving target and we make new discoveries that may or may not be predictable and that enables us to pursue those different and new research directions. We are looking at tuberculosis, which is such an ancient disease, but it's still really an epidemic, killing more than a million people every year. Our research focus uh, in this area has been funded by the National Institute of Infectious Diseases. And in this research program, we are trying to develop new TB therapeutics that can shorten the treatment regimen and that can be taken orally. TB is more prevalent in the other parts of the uh, world, like India, uh, African countries, China, where people come from economically disadvantaged background or underprivileged. So it's important that we develop therapeutics that are more affordable. We are also interested in developing broad spectrum antibiotics that will be critical in treating superbugs. For example, MRSA, which is methicillin resistant Staph aureus. When trainees join my lab, what I really emphasize is three C's, creativity, critical thinking, and collaboration. Those are the three tenets that we follow in our lab, because if you can think critically and pursue new ideas and do it in a collaborative manner, you can pretty much do anything. So ultimately, when people graduate from my lab or say postdoctoral scholars, they move on to the next opportunity, they tend to flourish and because here we really foster and nurture uh, collaboration and creativity.